Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel and in this episode we're going to be covering a hidden gem and I haven't done these type of videos in ages because the last one I've done, I think it's a while back actually, the Nagakawa, the Japanese, you know, the smallest forward. But anyway guys, in this episode we're going to be covering the cheapest Ronaldo for career mode. Anyway guys, his name is Daniel Padenz and we'll actually look at his stats. Basically, this guy's only 20 years old, standing at a solid 5 for 5. So, you know, he's basically like Messi's height, but, you know, he's Ronaldo in this game because he's from Portugal. Anything that relates to any countries or anything like that, he's automatically Ronaldo. But anyway guys, looking at his stats, you know, he's got 4-star weak foot and skills, which is really great because, you know, you can cut him from the left or the right. In the game, he's like a right winger, but he can also play left wing because in the, in the gameplay you're about to see, where he's going to destroy the opponents, he's basically playing left wing. Also guys, other things to know, it's within his stats are like acrobatic and flare trait um the acrobatic speciality i mean but you know what that means he's going to be doing bicycle kicks and you know like jumping up and shit next level jumping like ronaldo just with his headers and yeah also the flare trait obviously because he's portuguese and he's just so skillful moving on to his um other mental and physical stats 91 acceleration and 93 agility and balance that's insane because you know you can burst forward without like falling over or anything and yeah do a body feint and the ankles are broken boys also another interesting thing to note is he's got 71 stamina which is pretty good on a 21 year old because most um, younger players tend to have like 56 or something like that but this guy you know he's got 71 I don't know if in real life if he's been playing for Sporting on a regular basis but in the game it just shows he probably has been moving on to his skill attributes you know 78 ball control and 81 dribbling on a 20 year old like what a guy from the gameplay in the background you can also see how much of a beast he is because you know he's just basically skipping past everyone left right and centre and yeah just like the Nagakawa guy from my other video you know it's also quite small so that means it's really hard for the opponents to like quickly mark him and you know just get this bitch down also guys the other things i've noticed with this guy is that he can easily contain the ball so well because because of his insane balance and agility you know he can actually hold the ball with this low central gravity it's going to be so hard for the defenders to tackle him because the guy is five for five and him trying to contain the ball they're literally guaranteed to foul him because he's that easy to get fouled also guys talking about his achievements in real life you know he's a portuguese cup and league cup winner i don't know if he's been involved in these you know competitions as much as he's only 28 years old i don't know i can't imagine him you know already being in the first team and stuff but then again i don't watch the portuguese league that much maybe the portuguese fans can let me know another thing as well i've noticed that a lot of people hate him because he dives a lot <laughs> i've read somewhere that he should be in the oscars for diving too much looking at his career mode stats this guy starts at you know 6.5 million masses base value and 35k in wages you know it's not too much considering his potential but yeah guys that's it with this video it's a really quick video and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you'd have then make sure to leave a like and comment in the comment section of your thoughts on this guy because you know i'm quite interested in know that but yeah guys that's it for this video thanks for watching stay safe and peace out